As I mentioned before the movie, the short stories that inspired my sister Eileen also inspired a stage musical, Wonderful Town, by Leonard Bernstein, Adolph Green, and Betty Compton. The 1953 stage musical was a big success, so Columbia Pictures, which still owned the screen rights to the story, decided to adapt the musical into a film. The studio immediately began negotiations with the producers of Wonderful Town, but they couldn't come to an agreement. But instead of abandoning the idea, Columbia simply commissioned its own original score from Jules Tyne and Leo Robin. That film, starring Janet Lee, Jack Lemmon, and Betty Garrett, was released in 1955, was also called My Sister Eileen. But wait, the adaptations keep coming. Three years later, the stage version of Wonderful Town was adapted for television with Rosalind Russell once again playing Ruth Sherwood. Up next, our look at the five performances to earn Best Actress Oscar nominations for 1942 continues with the winner, Greer Garson. Tonight on TCM's 31 Days of Oscar, Greer Garson's Life is a Battlefield in Mrs. Miniver. Then Betty Davis takes a walk on the wild side in Now Voyager. And Katherine Hepburn doesn't always score big as Woman of the Year. Turner Classic Movies and Warner Home Video present T.